everybody. It's Weight Watcher Wednesday. Did I mess that up? No, you're oh, fine. I was just like, I'm just... sometimes George gives me this look, and I'm like, did I mess it up already? Today, I like to, I like to you know make it a little interesting for. Her. And today we're making cheesy chicken cups. And what I did is I went ahead and preheated the oven to 400, and I'm cooking our chicken right now. So we have to wait for that to get done. And I'm going to take our grand biscuits, and we're just going to stick them right in there and form like a cup. So we get to play with our dough. While she's doing that, make sure they're, they're reduced fat ones because it cuts down the um, grams of fat to four and a half um, grams. And what I did was went ahead and opened our can of cream of chicken. It is the healthy uh, request cream of chicken. You just need one can of that. And see, we should have picked up two of these. And as I'm doing that, and again, this is another um, simple recipe. Because if you see, once you see our vlog, you'll see somebody um, gained weight and one of us lost, but <laughs> it wasn't me. Hmm, I wonder who that might be then. Oh no. We're going to add some pepper to our cream of chicken soup. And then, what are we going to do then? We have to get parsley. I didn't get out the parsley, so you're going to have to bear with me. It's a good thing it is a quick meal, because we, um, we have a lot going on. We and do. a little bit of time, so this will work out. It calls for a teaspoon of parsley. And then we're going to use our Mexican style four cheese blend. I'm just going to open that because we're actually going to sprinkle that on the top once the chicken is done. Now I made, I have to confess, I didn't read the recipe correctly. So I made a lot more chicken than what we actually need. So what I'm going to do is cook it all up and then I'm going to freeze the rest. And that way I'll have it for the next time. Yeah, it only calls for one chicken breast. So, and then you put it, you'll put it inside these uh, little muffin. muffin. And we're gonna mix up the pepper and all that stuff right now. When it's done cooking, we will put the chicken in that mix, and then we will show you uh, the next part. Yeah, right? because it, it takes uh, 15 minutes in the um, oven, so it's a very quick, quick meal. Um, <laughs> this isn't going to feed my family, so um, if I would have read the instructions like I was supposed to, I would have had to pick up more, but it's okay. McDonald's is right up the road <laughs> for them. We will eat healthy. George and I will eat healthy. We'll treat all of them to McDonald's. <laughs> all right, we'll be back in a bit. It's done, and I'm just going to mix this all together. And you want to cut up your chicken um, in small little pieces because they need to fit in these cups. And we have to make a correction. I said the Mexican for cheese. <laughs> yeah, wrong. So it's the fat-free cheddar cheese. And it called for how much? Two-thirds cup. Two-thirds. It's going to go inside that with all the chicken. Looks good already. All right, two-thirds. Let's see. Can I see? Yes. There we go. Just going to mix that all up. And then you are going to scoop this right into your grains. And like I said earlier, I preheated the oven to 400. And when we put this in the oven, you actually have to put a cookie sheet underneath your muffin pan because it says it's going to boil over. So once these grains um, start rising, it's going to uh, start making everything bubble. Okay, obviously I got room for some more. 
that one looks like it could use a little more. Let's scoot that one over there. Now just to let you know, one of these by itself is five points. So if you want to eat two of them, you're going to want to eat um, lower stuff that day. Or to fill yourself up, you can do a salad or do a vegetable, and that way um, it will keep you under your points at for what you're, um, excuse me, uh, Misty. No, I don't want to you to interfere with my cooking or anything. And we're just going to pop this in the oven for 15 minutes. Now, if it looks like your um, your biscuits are still a little bit um, raw, you might want to keep it in a little bit longer, depending on um, your temperatures and your ovens. will determine whether it's going to take um, more or less. So. All right, guys, we'll show you in a couple minutes what it's going to look like. As you can see, they're done nice golden brown. So we will uh, do a taste test and see how they are. Of course, we all know George has to do that taste test, so he will do it in a little bit. He is busy right at the moment. So we will end this vlog with him saying yes or no. Okay, I've already been into one of these. Um... They are amazing. I can see why they're worth five points per each one, but they are really, really good. So another great meal that she made and recommend it. And it's nothing in there that most kids won't even like. Do you like it? It's really good. So even he approves of it. So it's a, it's definitely a keeper. Something you should guys try. All right. See you guys uh, next week.